But I've learned a long time ago that nobody is the ultimate truth. Nobody has the ultimate uh, authority. It's just a continual unfolding of knowledge. The more we research, the more we find out, the more we understand that we were wrong 10 years ago, and we just keep moving on, and hopefully we ultimately will come to some kind of a consensus as to what the actual truth is. So I know that young people may not get what I'm talking about, but I'm sure people in the 60s and 70s will begin to you know, understand what I'm saying. Uh, there's a lot of uh, really important things to know about the world you live in. And, and you know, I know you've heard me probably say this many times before, but nothing in this world is what you think it is. Nothing. Therefore, nothing operates the way you think it does in this world. There's a whole esoteric, occult, or hidden world of words and terms and symbols and uh, national coats of arms and hallowedry and symbols of government, and corporate flags and corporate logos, the entire world of mankind like you just heard from the movie that little bit was from the movie uh, network and in the movie network it was brought out that uh, the world is a business period there's nothing personal about what's going on it's a business and for before you were born somebody already bought and owned the business and so when you were born, you came into this world, which is a business, and you didn't realize it. You thought the uh, earth was here for you, and you thought that when you were born that you were free, individual, you were you have a sovereign right to be here, and you have a sovereign right to think what you wish and live the way you wish according to the culture that you were born in. But uh, that's not exactly the case. What actually is the case is that the whole world has to be in compliance. The whole world needs to be in compliance with somebody else's laws. Somebody else uh, claims the ownership of this earth and all life on it. And since you are merely part of the earth's life forms, uh, there are people in this world that have already established for themselves they haven't talked to God about it, but they've established for themselves certain rules and regulations and laws and bylaws by which the rest of humanity must live. And so that has caused nothing more than bloodshed and violence and ignorance. And so the people need to be kept ignorant. They need to be kept ignorant so that they will be in compliance and they won't give their leaders and their owners uh, any trouble because they don't know what's going on. The lies, the deceptions, the absolutely incredible uh, misunderstanding in so many areas of our life, in banking, in government, in education, in, uh, in the corporate world, uh, it's just an, uh, just an extraordinary story of betrayal of the human race, not just to America, but the whole human family has been ripped off by people who have set up their government, their religion, their concepts of how the world should go many hundreds of years ago so that all of the 7 billion people on the earth today who are, you know, have come into the world in the past hundred years or so, have no idea in the world, none, about who did what, uh, you know, a thousand years ago, where these ideas of religion and government have come from. What is money and what are the terms and words that are used in courts? And all of this was designed before we got here. And so that's what I'm trying to do, and that's what I'm doing hopefully tonight and in the future. As long as I could do a show, I wish to draw people's attention to all of the lies and the deceptions that has been in, in 
poured upon and foisted upon the human race. And I know that many people have heard me talk about the uh, absolutely obscene, ludicrous, and obscene lies and deception in government, which is right in your face. And the people who are doing all of these things to us, they don't, they're not worried about us. They're not worried about the people. I know you hear politicians always talking about, I mean, I remember growing up hearing on radio and movies, uh, politicians talking about the American people. And the American people will never allow this and the American people will not stand for this or that. And I always thought that's the same kind of thing that I, I saw in movies about the Roman Empire that the people of Rome would never allow this, and the people of Rome would never do this, and the people of Rome this, and the people of Rome that. Then we rem Now we go back and look at the history. The people of Rome never knew what hit them. The politicians were murderers, vicious, bloodletting. Uh, I, I, the words I'm trying to pick to describe what I see in history is absolutely ludicrous. So you see these people who are leading the different empires who see themselves as God. They're the uh, their incarnation of Jehovah. They're the incarnation of the almighty God of the universe with, uh, with their bloodletting and bloodshed and filth and debauchery and wars and drugs. And so I, I've learned from looking at the world after 75 years, the world is filled with um, mentally deranged criminals who are at the top of this world. And unfortunately, that's who, that's that's the way it is with, with uh, milk, you know, and uh, it, the scum rises to the top. And any time you're doing a refining of uh, gold, we're told that the scum rises to the top. Well, that is for sure in religion and in government and in banking, and the major institutions of this world, the scum always rises to the top. And the reason why is because good people, normal, regular people, are not interested in raping and plundering. Most people are just human and want to be left alone. And so that's where I come from. I'm just an ordinary man like everyone else, but I've always been aware of the fact that we are all being lied to and raped and plundered. And now, of course, our earth is completely devastated. There is no, as the, as the movie said, there is no fresh water. There is no good food. There is not, there is only what we've got. It is what it is. And so we've got nothing but terrorists, criminals, lunatics, uh, mentally deranged morons running our country, running the world. Uh, and most people, you know, what are you going to do about it? Well, they just shrug their shoulders because, after all, if you try and do anything about it, you'll go to jail, you'll go to prison, you'll have a bad accident, your wife will die. So we know that's the way it works in America. That's the way it works around the world. The people in power intend to stay in power 